good morning everyone so in the last session we discussed about the exception handling and uh, inside this particular exception handling we identified the multiple exceptions how we are going to use okay so we are we have some basic uh, knowledge on the how this particular try and catch block is working internally we identified here and finally what we are doing is we are trying to identify the the exception information so today we'll see whenever i'm going to get any exception now i'm trying to find out the now i'm trying to find out the exception message here so if you see here i'm getting the null pointer exception here i'm getting the null pointer exception and from where this particular exception is triggering the path it is providing basically what we need to understand here we need to understand the throwable class inside this particular throwable class we need to understand the two string method we need to understand the two string method this particular two string method what exactly it is doing internally it is trying to do the one of the important concept to call message printing whatever the the exception we are having we are going to print this particular message now you can see get class dot get name so get class dot get name what what it is returning is yesterday we discussed about the this example here okay get class dot get name basically it will try to return the name of the class okay this particular get class it which is this method is available in the object class and it is trying to return the one class object so inside of a java language we have a one class is available so the particular class is going to return and using this particular class i'm trying to load the name of the class here and internally string yes i'm calling it and using this message if the message is available we are going to load this particular message and using the again now observe carefully ternary operator using this particular ternary operator we are trying to print this message now if you see so s s is the name of the the particular exception class and if we have any message it's going to open with this otherwise it will try to print only the particular exception but right now we are trying to print only one exception information here only one exception information we are printing here okay so finally what we need to understand here whenever i'm trying to uh let me see this the first example we can see and if i'm going to run this so this is the arithmetic exception this is the arithmetic exception and now you can see here we are having colon after colon we are having slash zero after colon we are having slash slash by zero now you can see here so this is appending here so this is the name of the class something like a arithmetic exception and we are appending with the colon after the colon we are adding the space and we are trying to append with the message now you can see after colon we are trying to append with this particular message now what you understand here whenever we are getting any exception internally the throw class two string method it is going to call okay the throw class two string method it is going to call so otherwise now what we can do we can write the exception class get in the pen so for example if i'm going to write the one exception class here i'm trying to write the something like uh, i'm trying to write the custom exception and uh, this particular custom exception internally extending from the exception <coughs> okay so it is trying to extending from the this particular exception i am trying to generate the serial version id and uh, i am going to write the constructor so this is the default constructor and uh, i am going to call super and uh, here i will here i will specify the here i will specify the message okay and uh, we can pass here message to the super class constructor and uh, this dot message is equals to <coughs> message okay 
Now after defining this particular message, one message and here now what I'm doing is I'm going to generate the two string method. We are we are having two string method here. Only we'll use the same this particular field here. Now you can see so custom exception this particular message we are going to provide. Okay, this is the one of the important like we created one custom exception. Getting the point. Now this is the way of creating the the particular custom exception. But what we need to focus here the two string method. Whatever the two string method we are writing it. This is the the important two string method. Now finally, what I'm doing here, here I'm trying to throw the exception. Okay, and uh, line number twelve. After printing this, so custom exception and uh, exception. Uh, what we can write here exception is throwing okay so this is the message I'm trying to add here now you can see what happening internally we need to come up with a try and do catch block or we can go for the declaration now what I will do I will use this particular throws declarations here now I'm trying to comment out this this also I'm trying to comment out here okay we'll comment out every section okay now observe carefully we are trying to throw the custom exception but what we need to understand here how this particular two string is going to call how this two string is calling observe carefully so this is the custom exception okay and a message here but what you understand here earlier it is called the different information. Okay, it is called the different information. Now it is calling the different information. Now you can see custom exception and message. We are trying to add the message. So this is the two string here. Where we define this particular two string inside this particular custom exception. Okay. Now what you need to understand. For example, if I'm not using this particular two string, if I'm not using this particular two string here, so carefully observe. <coughs> Uh, let me copy this and here here I'm going to provide <coughs> except I'm providing here now I'm going to run this particular same example <coughs> observe carefully what we are doing here we are trying to load with the help of the path here and we are load only name of the class here, but here the default two string method it is trying to load the path and is appending with the message. Okay, so here we open the like a array brace layer, like the particular bracket we open here and we close this particular bracket and internally we provided the message. Here. But now you can see this is the the default two string method which is calling from the throwable class. Now you can see here. So the S S is basically here. So get class dot get name. Okay. Now we are loading the messages here based on this particular message. Now appending with a colon and I'm adding the message. So here you can see colon is adding and this is the message here. But whatever the whatever the earlier example what we discuss here. So custom exceptions here and message. This is the Two string method which we override inside this particular custom class. Now, what you understand the override to any method if which is going to take highest to priority. Okay, the override method, any method which is going to take highest priority in our current example, the two string is taking highest to priority. So, if you are not interested here, now what you can do? So, load these two methods here, load this particular two methods into say two string here. Okay, same into this particular two string here. Now, finally, what I will do instead of this particular message, okay, message instead of this particular custom exception. 
here I'm going to append with the S. Okay, here I'm going to append with the S. And uh, after this particular S, here I can write colon so that we can understand here exception with the message. This is the, the new toasting method I overridden inside this particular custom class. So for example, so observe carefully, if I'm going to run the same example, observe carefully, so now I'm trying to print the path and I'm adding the colon and I'm trying to open with the message. I'm trying to open with this particular message. So which can, which toasting method is, it is calling it? Which toasting method it is calling? The toasting method, whatever we implemented inside this particular custom class here. Okay, inside this particular custom class because it is override method, it will take highest priority. It will take highest priority here. So any questions here? Okay, I will explain this particular regarding this particular throws. Uh, okay, so ignore this particular section, but focus more onto the toasting. Just focus more onto this particular toasting, how it is printing. Because if I'm not adding the toasting method inside this particular class, so the default to toasting method it is calling, it is be defined inside the throwable class. Okay, this is, very important example we are discussing here. Okay, so just I'm discussing about the toasting right now because we'll discuss about the all the the remaining keywords because this is one of the important keyword. So inside the whatever the keyword I explained earlier, we will try catch throw throws keyword and finally, okay, I will discuss about the this keyword later, but focus more on the toasting method. Any questions regarding this particular toasting question toasting method? Okay, it is a important toasting basically. Basically, if you write any model class, we are going to override the toasting method here. Okay, so this is one of the important uh, the toasting we are discussing here. Now, what we can do, how we can handle the multiple exceptions. How we can handle the multiple exceptions here. This is another important example we are discussing here. Observe carefully how I'm trying to handle multiple exceptions. Getting the point. Whatever the example we discuss here, the same example I'm going to write here. But here, what we need to understand, I'm trying to write the multiple catchy blocks here. So this is, we already discussed here because whatever the code which is going to thrown here, the particular code we are going to write inside this particular try block because this code only, it will throw in a exceptions here. Now, right now, what I'm doing here, right now, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to add the code here. So now observe carefully. Observe carefully. This is one of the important example. And this example, okay, I will write here and this code we can use from the notepad. Okay, later I will copy this code into the notepad. But observe carefully. Now what I'm doing here, here into, Uh, argument is nothing but we'll get the length here. Okay, int length is equals to augs dot length. Okay, I'm trying to find out the length of this particular argument here because this section we discussed in the last session here. Now I'm trying to provide the information. So observe carefully what I'm doing here. I'm trying to print the Okay, length I'm trying to print here, something like N. After printing this particular length here, now what I'm doing here, into B is equals to 42 by, 42 by I'm going to print, uh, divide with length. Okay, so observe carefully. So this is the important example we are discussing. Again, I'm doing here the division operations. I know if I'm doing the division operation, if I'm not getting any exception, I will print this particular, P value. Okay, so B value I'm printing. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to declare this particular C array and here I'm trying to initializing only one value. Okay, this is the 
are initialization concept we discuss in the earlier example so the line number 11 again i'm implementing same concept here observe this after this now what i'm doing here again i'm trying to providing the values so here see inside this particular 42 location i'm trying to providing 99 value 99 value and here now i'm handling with a catch block so catch block basically first one I am trying to handle with uh, arithmetic exception and uh, here so I will print this divide by 0 okay so divide by 0 and uh, here I am going to provide the exception here and uh, one more catch block so if you observe carefully one more catch block I am printing array index out of bound exception and this is the exception I'm providing it and here observe carefully what I'm doing here here I'm going to provide the message here. so what is the message we can provide something like array index over is nothing but object array index out of bound exception and here I will provide the ex here so what you understand here these are all the two catch block I'm using here and finally whatever we are trying to use this is after try and catch here after try and catch blocks also we can defend okay this is important information now observe carefully what I'm doing here I'm trying to can you bend? I'm trying to load the values from the command line because what I'm doing here here I'm trying to use the args where we define this particular args this args I'm defining from the main method parameter so when main method parameter how we are going to pass here how we are going to pass this particular main method parameter so that we are going to pass from the command line here so here I cannot provide the command line arguments from this particular ID because because what happens internally so it will we are inside the path here so compiler cannot to go to this particular path and uh, we cannot identify what exactly it is doing internally okay now what I will do I'm copying this example and I will run this example from the command line here so to run this particular command line first what I need to do I need to go to this particular so where we are having so I will go to this particular core Java and uh, okay this I will open Okay, instead of doing this, where we are having this particular path, I will try and we are having this is the multiple exception. Open with this particular IntelliJ ID. Okay, so this is taking some time. Now you can see here we are having this particular file, but uh, now what I'm doing here, I'm trying to providing this particular uh, terminal and where we are having inside this particular core 07 I will go to another folder so I think SRC after this particular SRC we need to go to the com and core 07 abstract exception okay inside this particular exception Java C multiple exception dot Java now what I'm doing it it is compiled successfully if I'm going to run multiple exceptions here it will get an error now you can see so it is not found in the class not found Java multiple exception 
what happened here close it is not loaded okay it is not available with a type java type here where is this particular file okay so this particular file is not converting into the java okay anyway what we'll do we'll try to open inside the okay dot plus file is generated but i don't know why it is not working now i'm going to open with a command prompt so this is the best one java c multiple exception dot java it is compiled successfully now i'm running multiple exception now you can see what happened here could not find the okay we'll delete this this class file maybe it is wrong let me close this okay it is generated dot class file Huh? Uh, oh, because of this, I think package. It is providing the package. okay now observe carefully what happening internally the length zero we are getting okay observe carefully so now what we are doing here we are trying to do the length zero and we are getting an a divide by zero arithmetic exception i'm getting so why this particular exception i'm getting here okay now we need to understand the code here oh sorry i closed the code here if i'm going to open this so carefully observe this is the the line number 8 we are printing length what is the value i'm i'm getting here here i'm trying to provide the right side here now you can see observe carefully here what i'm doing is length here where this particular length is coming line number 8 after printing this particular length now what happening internally we are doing this particular operation line number 9 what we are doing is we are doing 42 by 0 because the length whatever the alien we are having we are getting zero so whenever we are getting zero what happen internally we need to understand okay we need to understand this how this particular what happens internally what happen this so like the 42 by 0 will get an exception because we cannot divide by zero getting point whatever we are trying to divide by zero so we already identified we are getting an exception something like arithmetic exception here okay we are getting an a this particular arithmetic exception now what you need to understand here what you need to understand here after getting an arithmetic exception so this is the try catch blocks are executing so line number 18 is executing and this is the the line number 48 it is printing so divide by 0 okay divide by 0 here also we are having and after this we are trying to print the exception here we are trying to print the exceptions here now what you understand here the first exception is handled by this particular because the line number 14 only it is printing here so try to compare the output with whatever we are getting inside the this particular console whatever i'm highlighting it now you can compare with this particular code so try and do catch block which exception is occurred here the what is a line number of the particular exception is caught here something like line number 13 exception is caught here and line number 14 the line number 14 exception is triggering here so this is the message finally it is moving on to the line number 18 here okay now what you need to understand here so we are printing the this line number 8 and uh, we are doing the division operation so this is getting an exception now so at this time 
now at this time now what i will do i am going to provide the different values here so java exception something like i am going to provide as a test now if you see we are getting the different exception so compare with the uh, the previous exception and the current exception previously we got the arithmetic exception now we are getting the array index out of bound exception getting the point now what do you understand here now what do you understand here based on the the input which we are trying to providing from the command line so we are getting the different exception getting the point based on this particular input from the command line we are getting the different exceptions here now observe carefully what happening internally getting the point so now at this time length we are getting one length we are getting one and b value we are getting 42 okay length we we get uh, earlier zero whenever we got zero we got this particular arithmetic exception and whenever we are getting this particular length one what happening internally we are getting this particular b value as a 42 and array index ob getting the pen array index obp we provided the message line number 16 line number 16 we provided the message now you can see so here this is the message we are passing here like array index obp getting the pen this is important we need to understand here so whatever the message here i'm highlighting it the same message it is coming here and it is trying to append with our exception class and finally it is trying to it is trying to execute the after try and catch block here now what you understand here now what you understand here so this is the based on the command line inputs here the exception is exception is calling like exception is handling the different exception because in the same example we handle the two exceptions if we are not providing the command line values we are getting the different exception and when you provide the command line values we are getting different exception getting the pen when you provide the uh, command line values we are getting the different exceptions here okay this is we need to understand very carefully so observe observe again i'm trying to run one more time here i'm trying to providing multiple values so along with the test here i'm going to provide as a java now even though if i'm trying to providing even though i'm if i'm trying to providing length to still i'm getting as a arithmetic exception here now you can see sorry array index of bound of exception i'm getting so this is the array index bound of exception i'm getting and here also i'm getting array index out of bound exception here now what you understand here the length we are getting to the b value we are getting as a 21 now earlier the length we are getting one b value we are getting as a 42 okay now even though the length we are getting as a two we are getting this particular exception but finally finally what we need to understand here if i am not providing any command line values we will get the arithmetic exception we will get the arithmetic exception now you can see length is zero length is zero arithmetic exception i am getting okay so this is we need to understand the important example any questions regarding this arithmetic exception and array index out of bound exception see finally basically it is not needed here if you are interested you can write the finally see finally finally block basically it is a optional block because we are writing the catch block if you are not writing the catch block we need to write the finally block see basically try will hold here try catch block or the finally block so try will expect here finally block or catch block if you write this particular catch block no need to write the finally block. but if it is really required because some applications here what i explained in the yesterday class finally block basically it will try to finally block basically it will try to execute even if you get an exception or if you are not get any exception okay in that case the finally block will execute here now you can write this particular finally block also if you are interested you can write finally block oh 
I cannot use a, a source. System dot out dot rental and okay finally block I'm defining it this is all about the the particular finally block now what we need to do I need to clear, <coughs> clear the console sorry compile compile here clear compilation is completed successfully <coughs> I'm trying to run here now you can see whenever I'm trying to providing two parameters here so length is to b value 21 and uh, this is an exception we are getting finally block and uh, after this the try and uh, catch block getting the point this is important we need to understand here this is we need to understand here how this particular finally block is executing basically what we need to understand even if you are not getting any exception the finally block will call here if you get any exception the finally block will call here this is important example we need to understand here okay this is one of the important example we need to understand how this particular finally block is going to execute here so any questions now So twelfth line no C for bracket forty two is equal to ninety nine. I didn't use it, sir, sir. The carangers non chip. Line number eleven on in angels run. In T C bracket is equal to one better, sir. Angel are to the apple. The end of grass and a line. If you int b is equal to 42, Razaru, length is 0, is you can print out the 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 print out print out the print out the print out the Zero. If you can see zero, you can print chain. I came out with the basic gante. I can exception of the line number two. Well, only exception of the thirteen line number thirteen in execute our thing. But no line number eleven in the grass and identify chest. Nick easy either. So, man, uh, last uh, chana exam. Okay, so name is just on one Okay, in line number 11, I just know check it out. You can see that the annihilation is not the purpose. So, you can see that the annihilation is not the code. This is the annihilation example. Chana discusses some of the Are related example discuss one dimension or two dimensions are example discuss and in China example Japan. So that law one of the example is okay. The basic idea is that multiple values in a cut up to well in chief fifty two work okay. Okay, six six seven numbers not gonna be we turn in tiny in numbers and then clone in storage and enter in numbers basic single value by Multiple values in hold yes in the Okay, so same ikkada manavin yes in anante. Ikkada koda nain multiple values in hold yes in the yes. But ikkada nain name icha only one value icha. For example, nain inko ka value kuri ich koch. Two ich koch, three ich koch, four ich koch, five, six. Nain any number of values ich koch. Okay, ikkada ema ichun de ikkada any value system ho. Deni length anta ho tunde. For example, six sunai ikkada. 
so six is the length of this particular C array. Okay, so if I print this, we'll get the length as a six here. Can you see length in the channel? C dot length. C dot length. This C dot length na. नहीं निकाल माली कंपाइल जैसे कंपाइल जैसे नहीं रन जैसे ओके ये तो प्रॉब्लम हो चुका कंपाइल जैसे ने रन जैसे ने को सी लेंथ तो कंपिस ने करा सी लेंथ तो नहीं सिक्स होंगे ओके इधर सी लेंथ सिक्स पेटिना कोड़ा ना के एक्सेप्शन हो सुने यंदु को सुने जानते इकड़ा बेसिक का अब्जर्ट जाल से नहीं जानते इस सी लेंथ तो फर्स्ट डायग्राम का वाले मन के माले यंदु के डायग्राम का वाले ने � चाना साला प्रैक्टिस चल सुन रहे थे यंचे पे आना, सो मैं भी नो प्रैक्टिस चेस सवाल है तो ओके, सो एनीवे जीरो वन जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव, आई निकल वैल्यू सेंड ही वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स, सो ये वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेकंड इंच अच्छा ही, ये वैल्यूस भी, ओके ये वैल्यूस C variable it is trying to hold getting by it is trying to hold these many values and how it is holding based on this particular indexes here so these are all the indexes based on this particular indexes these are all the values it is trying to hold now now the line number 30 now what I'm doing it I'm trying to insert the value because here I'm using only single equal getting the point here line number 13 I'm using single equal the whatever the 99 value we are having the 99 value I'm trying to store in the location called 42 getting the point I'm trying to store in the location called 42 now what you need to understand here now what you need to understand here so C42 C42 right now we don't have what is the indexes we are having 0 to 5 okay 0 to 5 we are having the indexes but right now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to store the value in the 42 index. Now, observe carefully how we can write this. So, 52, imagine here, up to this is the 41. Okay, this is the 41 and this is the 42. But right now, we don't have 42 because the size we are having only 5. The size we are having 6 here, but we are trying to store in the length of 42. But if I want to insert this value in the 42, what is the size we need? Size we need 43. Okay, size we need 43. But what is the current size? 6. But how we are going to insert this value? We are unable to insert here. Now if you read this exception, now if you read this particular exception, you can easily understand here. So index is 42. Okay, index is 42 here. Out of bounds length for 6. What is the length currently we are having? 6 here. But right now, in a which index location I am trying to insert the value? 42. So how we are going to insert here? We cannot insert here. Getting the point. Because of this only, we are getting an exception. If you are having, for example, for example here, now what I will do, uh, here I am going to insert as a 5. If I'm going to insert as a 5, any exception will get here, will not get any exception. Let me run the same example. And I will clear this also. Uh, sorry. Compile one more time and to execute here. Now any exception we are getting? Here we got an exception earlier, but right now, C value 1 I am getting here, C, this is the length I am printing, B value length 
and finally block this is the the try and catch block we are closing outside here okay now what you need to understand basically whenever i am providing within the range so basically c is the within the range only because the index start from 0 to 5 the size we are having 6 but what i did here 42 the 42 it is not available okay whatever the 42 we are having here it is not available here because of this we are getting an a because of this we are getting an a the exception call array index out of bound exception okay it's clear You have questions or sorry? No, sir. Okay. Now, if we don't have anything, now what I will do, I will move on to the another important example here. So what happens here? So for example, here only I will modify because this will not give any compilation error. So try to basically, if you are interested to practice the example in this particular Notepad plus plus, it will give you the more experience on the word language here. Basically, if you miss syntax here, it will give an error here. Getting the point. Now, what I'm doing here, here I'm going to write the one more catch block. Here I'm writing one more catch block here. Now you need to answer this question. You need to answer this particular question, what happens internally, okay? Now I'm trying to save this example. What is the, the additional catch block I added here? The additional catch block I added like this. So this is the, whatever I'm highlighting it, this particular code I highlighted, it, like I added into the multiple catch blocks dot Java file. Okay, now I'm running this example. Whenever I'm trying to compile this, now we'll get an error here. So we are getting, we'll get an error. Now why I'm getting an, this error, you need to, answer why we are getting this error read the error properly read the error properly and you will understand why we are getting any this particular error here So what do you understand by reading this particular errors here? This is the simple message. Now you can see the line number 17, wherever we define this particular multiple exception dot Java file, line number 17, we got an error. What is the error is saying? Exception, automatic exception is already, has like already been caught here. Now, what do you understand here? That is really same as the arithmetic, uh, uh, like that uh, arithmetic exception. So, okay. So that uh, arithmetic exception already you uh, caught in that catch block. Where we are handling it? Only three we are having. First one exception, second one is arithmetic exception, and the third one is array index out of bound exception. I am not uh, providing the duplicate information. Only one exception I am providing. But even though if it is one, so he's saying this message, this exception is already caught here. Same way, the below method, uh, like below exception also. But we define only one time only. So if it is a one time, we cannot get this particular message here. But still we are getting this message. That operation also like that, uh, it is not divided by zero. Yes. Correct. See, basically this is getting compilation phase, not the runtime. Whenever I'm trying to compile this particular file, I'm getting this. Now, what you understand basically here, so this is the super class. Okay, this exception is a super class. Now, what we are doing here? Again, explicitly we are defining the subclasses here. These two are the subclasses because we already discussed here. Each and every class is extending from the exception class. Whenever it is extending from this particular exception class, now what you need to understand here, so we don't need to write the exceptions here. Okay, 
we don't need to write this particular exceptions information whenever we are writing the super class as a first to priority because this is the taking this exception is will take as a highest to priority when this particular super class is taking highest priority no need to write this particular catch block but if i want to write like if i want to give the subclass highest priority if i want to give the subclass highest priority now what i will do i will copy the same exception what we used here and here i'm going to paste and here i will write this exception getting the point here i'm trying to write the exception message now what you understand first arithmetic and array index out of bound exception finally we are defining exception here okay finally we are defining this particular exception okay this is very important information we need to understand here so again if i'm going to compile this any error we are getting we are not getting any error now what you understand here the hierarchy is important here so whatever the hierarchy we are using here first we need to give the permission to the subclasses and later we need to give the permission to the super classes okay this is important we need to understand here any questions regarding this particular hierarchy okay now what i will do i will try to write the code here i will write this particular code here now observe carefully what i am doing here. so how we can write the nested try statement get in the point nested try statement how we can write here so this is the again another example i want to write here so if i want to write here the same example i cannot run here what we can do okay what i will do i will copy the same example otherwise here only i will write here here only i will write here public class nested try okay so string here i'm going to use as a yeah. so we can take any the variable name here getting the point so it is not a matter what whatever we want to take we can take here so other than the keywords we need to take here so observe carefully now i'm defining nested try and the public static void when the main method i'm defining it and i'm going to write the one try statement here inside this particular try statement again i'm using the same a dot the same length i'm going to use here okay after this particular lean now what i will do again i'm going to use into b is equals to into b is equals to the same code whatever the code i defined earlier the same code i'm writing here okay so up to this time and here now what i'm doing it i'm going to sorry system dot sir, dot lunch, dot lunch is zero guys sir hmm. party to zero by lunch oh no సో ప్రస్తుతానికి లెంత్ ఈ లెంత్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి వస్తుంది అంటే ఈ లెంత్ అర్థం కాలేదు ఇంత ముందే చెప్పారు సార్ లెంత్ దీనికి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశారు సార్ మీరు ఇంత ముందే ఓకే ఓకే సో ఓకే నో ప్రాబ్లం నా అబ్జర్వ్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ హియర్ వాట్ ఐమ్ డూయింగ్ హియర్ ఐ యామ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ప్రింట్ బి వాల్యూ ఓకే అండ్ హియర్ whenever i'm trying to print this particular b value here i'm going to write this after printing this particular b value now important here now what you need to understand here i am going to write the nested statements here i'm going to write the nested statements here what are all the the nested statements we have here right now what are all the the nested statements we are having so system dot out dot println b value and finally 
I'm one more try block I'm writing. Okay, one more try block I'm writing here. So if I'm trying to write this particular try block here, I'm checking one condition. If this particular length equals to equals to one, get in the one. If this particular length equals to equals to one, now what I'm doing here? Here I'm trying to do the operation. So here, what is the operation I'm doing here? Length is equals to, okay, length here. Here I'm trying to dividing and here again what I will do length minus length. This is important here. Okay, again you are doing the same division operations here. Whenever we are having length one, now I'm doing this particular operation. And here if you observe if this particular length equals to equals to two, whenever it is having two, now what I'm doing here, here I'm going to create a array. The same Whatever the array we created earlier, the same array I'm trying to create and I'm trying to providing value here. Okay, so only single value I'm providing. And now in the C, third index location, I'm trying to store as a 99 value. Okay, this is the if condition I'm closing and this is the try block I'm closing. And whenever we are closing the try block, we need to write the catch block. And what is the catch block I'm writing? Array, array index out of bound exception. Okay, this is the exception class I'm trying to defining and I'm going to write the message here. System dot out dot print line I'm writing something like the same message. Array index OOB exceptions here and here Sorry. So here now what I'm doing here, here I'm trying to write the outer try block and here I'm trying to write the nested try block here. And what I'm doing here, so this particular try block is opened the line number seven and where it is closed here, line number 13. And once the try block is closed, closed here, now what I'm doing here, I'm trying to write the catch block. Okay, try block basically it is expecting catch block or finally block. Anything you can write. Or if you are interested, you can write both also. So getting the pen, it will not give any compilation error. Now you can see, try the line number seven is open and line number 13 is closed. Whenever it is closed here, now what I'm doing is, I'm trying to get in the pen, I'm trying to handle the catch block. So this is the nested, this is the, the nested statements here. Now you can see, here I define up to this. <coughs> Okay, whatever I defined here, this is the, the nested block here. And uh, this is the outer block. This is the outer block. 
now what you understand here inside the outer block we are trying to create a one nested block here this is we'll call it as a nested try statements here okay and to try we defined catch we defined and here outer try we defined and outer catch we defined. but what you need to understand here this is important the important here for example if you are not providing the length okay if you are not providing the length what happens here we'll get the zero whenever we are getting the zero now we already identified 42 divided by zero will get an exception that is we already familiar with this particular a a is nothing but arithmetic exception now whenever we are getting this particular arithmetic exception which catch block is calling it because at this time compiler will not go to this particular nested block okay compiler will not go to this particular nested block here only we are getting line number five only we are getting an exception it will try to look up the nearest catch block okay it will try to look up the nearest catch block what is the nearest catch block here this one because after closing the catch block here we are adding the catch block here. okay this is important we need to understand now we understand this so the catch block we are handling the arithmetic exception okay this is fine but the problem here now i given length as a two okay now the length i given as a two whenever i'm giving this particular length as a two this 42 by 42 by 2 will get some value so here the line number five will not get any exception okay we'll print this particular b value now after printing this particular b value now i'm moving into this particular if statement get in the point now i'm moving into this particular if statement so here we need to check if i'm going to give one for example the length if i'm going to give one again here we are going to get an exception again so here we'll get an exception get in the point observe carefully how we are going to get for example i am going to provide length equals to one length is multiplied like sorry divide by this section it is we got the result we'll print the result in the line number six here now we are coming to this particular right here now what we are doing here the condition is satisfied the whatever the if condition we write here it is satisfying here now so length one divided by and here the bracket length how much one minus one more length so finally how much we are going to get one divided by zero okay again we are doing the division operations here again we are doing the division operations we'll get the same exception what is an exception we'll get here something like the particular arithmetic exception we'll get here whenever we are getting this particular arithmetic exception where is a catch block getting the point where is a catch block big because this section code is executing inside the nested okay inside the nested statements here so these are all the nested statements here now what you understand here whenever it is extending the nested information whenever it is extending the nested information what you need to understand here getting the point so we don't have any catch block we define only one catch block that is handling the the array index out of bound exception that is handling the array index out of bound exception okay but what i want to provide the information here but we'll get an exception called arithmetic exception but compiler how it is identified here. okay but when we are defining the this particular nested information we'll get advantages here if this particular catch plus cannot have the the appropriate exception so this is an exception we don't have here whenever this particular exception is not available it will look up the outer catch block inside the nested catch block if we don't have a information now it will go to this particular outer catch block okay now it will go to this particular outer catch block here now inside the outer catch block we are having an exception it will handle the exception that it will print the information okay it will print this particular information set so this is the one of the advantages we are going to get here getting the point this is the the one of the advantage we are going to get here so now this is we need to understand here okay this is we need to understand very carefully here now so understand are any questions regarding this particular nested try and do nested catch statements here
<coughs> Observe here, I'm going to compile this. First, I will clear this. In Java C, now what you understand here, Nesta try dot Java. Uh, cannot find the symbol. So what we miss here? What is the symbol we are missing here? Okay, here we are missing array type here. Okay, so I miss the array type. So basically, if you practice from this particular notepad or any edit plus plus something, you will get this particular errors here. So you will get more understanding of, you will get more understanding that this particular Java language, like how the syntax is going to work internally. Okay, now what you need to understand here, now identify the compilation is compiled successfully. Nesta try. Now we identify because the length will print as a zero. Whenever the length we are printing as zero, we'll identify, we'll get an arithmetic exception. Okay, we will identify, we'll get an arithmetic exceptions here. Now, what you need to understand here, here I will define the length here. So that we'll like get to know more information. And uh, this is the length here. Now compile this because we modify some changes. We need to compile here. Now I'm running the length we are getting as a zero and later we are getting an exception. Whenever we are getting a zero, now we identify we'll get the arithmetic exception. Okay, now here I'm giving as a test to Java. Okay, the length we are having two and B value we are having 21. Now we are getting a index out of bound exception. This is important. Why we are getting a index out of bound exception? Length we are having one. We are trying to length we are getting one. We are trying to index the values as a three. Okay, this is important information we need to understand. So we are having the length, but still we are trying to access the like we are trying to insert the value inside this particular index three locations here. Okay, because of this it is giving me an error that is also we identified but now if we observe here the length of one here whenever I am the length of one now if we observe B value we are getting 42 here you can see B value we are getting 42 so even we are getting this particular B value as a 42 now what you need to understand again we are getting this particular exception called arithmetic exception. Okay, so this is the the arithmetic exception we are getting here. This is important. We need to understand here. This is very important. This arithmetic exception exception we are getting from the nested block, not this, not this. Okay, this is is printing B value we are printing here. But when we are getting the line number nine here, why we are getting the line number nine? I explain here because the length we are having one. Whenever the length is one. The condition is satisfying here. So once it is satisfied, we are doing the one more division operations here. This division operations is going to give an exceptions here. Okay, this is very important information we need to understand here. Any questions here regarding this particular nested try example? Okay, so we execute this particular example. Now we identify the different uh, exceptions here how it is getting it okay so once we are familiar with the uh, nested here now we'll move on to the one of the important keyword call throw keyword how this particular throw keyword is going to execute it okay we'll try to identify the the throw keyword here how it is going to execute it so this section we'll discuss in the evening sessions here okay if you don't have anything we'll continue evening <coughs> 